but let's go through and finish it and write down the actual question. The actual question is the loss from seepage through the soil profile per year is dot dot dot. Oh, you should have said something. There we go. Okay, how do you perceive this one? This is probably going to be a Darcy's Law kind of thing from groundwater hydrology. Naturally and searchable thing if you can't spell. Oh, <laughs> okay. Good for me. Where is, oh, there it is. So Q equals K times the area times the change in head over change in distance. <clears throat> so we need to figure out what the hydraulic head here is <clears throat> and the hydraulic head there is. And uh, then we can answer the question. So let's go ahead and declare it. So the... Um, the other information, standing water depth, soil layer is important. Sand layer at the bottom of the profile has horizontal drainage and zero pore pressure. That's a key trick. That's telling us that the equivalent water pressure at that location is zero. So let's make that R, not bottom, but rhymes with it, data. Okay, so the head there is zero. The head here at this end is the distance, six and a half meters, plus the height of water above the filter layer, which is 1.5 meters. So 6.5 plus 1.5 is eight meters ahead, and we're going to apply Darcy's Law in that direction. So now we have um, Q equals K A eight meters minus zero meters. So that's the high head minus the low head. And now how thick is the filter layer? 6.5 meters. What's the value for area? Thousand meters squared. And lastly, we need the hydraulic conductivity in something useful, not millimeters per second, but maybe So how do we turn 4.7 times 10 to the minus 6 millimeters per second into millimeters per, into meters per year? Well, we start multiplying stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I think. So, got any room to do it? Yeah, we got it right here. 4.7 times 10 to the minus 6. Make sure I copied that right. Yeah, that is a goofy-ass unit on purpose. Millimeters per second. There's a thousand millimeters in a meter. And I'll carry this line forward. So let's see, a thousand meters, and then there are 86,400 seconds in one day. And we'll use a typical year, which is 365 days per year. And that's going to equal a number. And we use this to figure out what that number is. 4.7 uh, e, e, e. There we go. E minus 6 times 86400 times 365 divided by 1, 1, 2, 3. I get 1.4822 times 10 to the minus 1 meters per year. 1.48 it's 10 to the minus 1 meters per year, and that's the value we'll put over here in the hydraulic conductivity. And now it's just that arithmetic stuff. 1.48, 10 to the minus 1, 1,000, 8, all divided by 6.5. I hope it comes out to a number that's actually somewhere close to the answers. So maybe I copied it wrong, too. So times 1,000 is that times 8, that divided by 
I come up with 182.42 meters cubed. So this is one of our unusual answers for today. It is D. Okay, so that's how to do number nine if you have the entire problem statement. <laughs> A little harder when you're trying to guess what I'm asking.